Israel has yielded to days of growing Palestinian street protests by removing all additional security measures around the compound housing LAQSA mosque, following the removal of metal detectors earlier this week. The reversal marks a victory for a campaign of civil disobedience that saw Palestinians refuse en masse to enter the compound, one of the city's most revered sites, choosing to pray instead in the streets of Jerusalem's old city. The remaining additional security measures that had been installed by Israel in the last fortnight, including barriers and Infrastructure for new cameras were removed by workers in the early hours of Thursday amid mounting fears of unrest during what were expected to be large protests around Friday prayers. The police returned the security measures to how they were before the terrorist attack at the harem. Al-Sharif, before the 14th of July, a police spokeswoman, Luba Samri, said in a statement, The move sparked. Celebrations by young Palestinians and local residents came out to hand out sweets in the streets. Muslim leaders in Jerusalem told worshippers to end their boycott of entering LAQSA and return to the mosque to pray. On Wednesday night Israeli police took a far more conciliatory approach at the main Lion's Gate entrance to the compound, where they had previously been quick to respond to any problems by clearing the streets with stun grenades. There have been signs that the prayer protest movement, which drew thousands each night to largely non-violent gatherings, has given an unusual sense of empowerment to Palestinians in East Jerusalem who have long lived without their own political institutions under Israeli occupation. Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Palestinian worshippers Pray between police security barriers in the street outside the Lion's Gate entrance to the compound. Photograph Peter Beaumont for the Guardian Israeli security analysts had noted that the Palestinian president, Mahmoud Abbas, had thrown his weight behind the movement, suspending security coordination with Israel. The Islamist group Hamas also sought to endorse the street protests and hailed the removal of the security measures. Izzat Rishek, a senior leader, tweeted that Palestinians had achieved historic victory. Tomorrow they will celebrate the removal of the occupation itself. Israeli far-right political leaders, on whom the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, is dependent to keep his coalition in power, criticized the move. Naftali Bennett, the Education minister and a member of the security cabinet told Army Radio that Israel had been weakened by the decision. I anticipate an increase in violence soon, he said.